one's real. And Big first Fresh taking that very literally and playing a character I've literally never seen him play before. He actually did have a Rosalina of like for a few months before um, Bayonetta came out. He had a big character crisis because he used to be playing Dark Pit. He played Peach for a bit and went back to Dark Pit. And his Rosalina was actually really days. good. Yeah, but a lot of people forgot about it. But um, I, I definitely didn't. I don't even think I've ever seen it. Yeah, I put in some work. I put in some work. Though Wadi's not really too bad against uh, Rosalina's. Has a lot of top player uh, victories off Rosalina's. Mm. But usually we see that with Mewtwo. We don't see that as much as this Rob, but the Rob is still working, and Pinkfresh hasn't even gotten a single percent on Wadi so far. This man is just absolutely running him over. Now Luma still in the picture. The platform saving her there. Him, it, whatever it is. All of them are it except for the black one, and that's a him, if I remember right. Why? Uh, because that one actually has like a name. It's like Polari or something. Oh. It's like in the Mario Galaxy like game. And yeah, that was a good punch by Wally. Just spot dodge, up smash. Rosalina's grab, having enough recovery frames to uh, make that round. But it wasn't a zero to death. It was not. It was not. Think Take those though. victories where you find them, boys. Yeah. That's what you need to keep yourself in the game mentally, though. Like, you know, if you're getting like kind of by like that, it's like, well, all right, he didn't zero to death me. <laughs> like, Let's I, find our way back. I, I hit him once. Yeah. All right, time to hit him a bunch more times. Yeah. Uh, keep on hitting him. He'll die. And then I can win. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the best advice to give, man. Yeah. Right now, that's some advice Pinkfresh is going to be needing. Uh, yet again, on his second stock, isn't really able to get too much going here. Only 34% on Wadi. More than double that on Pinkfresh. Yeah, they're looking bleak right now. That off smash is going to blow up Luma a bit. Not killing it just yet, but that's going to um, still be a bit of damage on him. And juggling him, and yep, that's going to be a dead Luma right there. Wadi's so good at just getting rid of Luma, mm -hmm. you know, completely taking her out of the equation. And that's kind of where we're seeing uh, Pinkfresh's uh, fault with the character, I'd say. He doesn't really have the best Luma management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot of loot or Luma management. And also just like, yeah, he's just not getting anything off of anything, <laughs> to be honest. Although that tech was cute. Like, <laughs> he wanted to go for a down air there. I could feel it. Yeah. But Wadi was not in the position to make it happen. Just going to slap him back away with his uh, forward air. And, and I think he, he ran out, out of gas. <laughs> yeah. Side of the road at 3 a.m. His car just stops. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Triple A came through and gave him the win. Yeah, that man definitely pressed A a couple times after that jump part because <laughs> that up air come through, that was a hard read. And Wadi is just like, man, what do I do? <laughs> uh, Pink Fresh is like, what do I do? Joe and the crowd are saying, get this Rosa out of here, and that's what Pink Fresh got to right, do. Here we go, here we go. Now the set really starts. Yep. That was a hand warmer. And I, to be honest, I don't disagree with that. We, it's winner's finals. We got a best of five since we're starting it so early in the night. Yeah, it's only 10.20 out here on the East Coast, so we still got plenty of time to play some Smash Brothers. Now immediately with the better start than Rosalina. Yeah, way better. Like in the first 20 seconds, he puts more damage on than he did in the last like <laughs> and a half of the last game. I mean, it, I feel, just feel like you know, Pink's uh, Bayonetta is obviously more powerful, but then also it's just like he. I haven't seen his Rosa in quite a long time, so I don't think he has either. <laughs> oh, <Not with> that. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna let my boy live, but you know. You know, I want to note that it's so nice to see Black Yoshi on stream and then almost immediately after Pink Fresh, because it's so nice to see their different play styles. Mm -hmm. Black Yoshi is much more rush down, get a combo going, but I feel Pink Fresh is more of a wait, wait and reactionary type player. I feel like that's kind of the difference in like experience between the two. Also, that DI wasn't that great for Pink Fresh right there. But also, Wadi's really good at crossing um, people up with that. So, right. yeah, that's also a small mix-up that he's really good at. But as I was saying with uh, Pink Fresh and Black Yoshi, that's the difference in um, experience between those two players. Pink Fresh has been playing this game for such a long time. He has just the instincts experience to tell you when he's going to push a button, when he can press at which time, and what he can punish with what. Black Yoshi, he's a strong player, but he's also a little bit more green than Pink Fresh. So um, he might have better insight on those combos, but uh, the neutral is just such a nuanced thing that Pink Fresh just has and he's so strong at. Yeah, Wadi using his get out of jail free card there, just flying to the other side of the stage, not wanting to deal with any of those offstage shenanigans. I think 
Okay, he still has a second jump. The side B might not be there, because sometimes it just disappears after, uh, if you don't use it for a long enough time. Pickers now there's a big opportunity. super deep to try and get the stock out. Yeah, he went super deep, didn't find too much off of it. Nice. Gets that grab. What's the mix-up? He tried to end oh Pink Fresh's life. If he had air dodge right there, that would have been absolutely destruction. Nice read on that back roll and why No fear in the world, just run up with the uppercut. Yep. Pink Fresh is gonna take that game number two and even it up. But that was pretty close off that game too, and this is still a best of five. Why do still has plenty of time to um, adapt and maybe even go back to that? There Number 150 himself. He is 150, right? That's Mewtwo? I, I thought he was 151. That's Mew. I thought, I, I thought Mew was 150, and then Mewtwo was artificially made, so he's 151. But, like, they knew about Mewtwo. Oh, I don't know. How don't can know. they know about Mewtwo before they know about Mew? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I can't remember. Some Pokemon nerd tweeted at me, at JDog926. Tell me what's up, because I'm blanking. There are like 700 of them now. Wow, like, I remember you kick right through that Shadow Ball and still hit you two with it. 150? Vince got me with the 150. Wait, really? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, but. Uh, I'm mad now. But here comes Pink Fresh, getting a wish time. Waits out a lot of the duration to get the maximum uh, damage, but the SDI is there from Wadi. Managed to get out of that. Potentially saving his life. The uh, cards were there for that one to be uh, fatal. It almost seemed like that witch time was more of a create space sort of thing than it was a get a de uh, follow up death combo off. Mm -hmm. It worked either way. Nice. And as the set goes on, I feel like we're going to uh, see more of just Wadi's um, patented like shadow ball pressure. Like, because that's something that we kind of have to be in the zone for. Wow. Know, and wow. Never mind. Bottom it's back already. Shield. Yeah. Why do you remember like how Shadow Ball works in the span of five seconds? It's funny. He was just getting on Black Yoshi for not holding shield enough when he lost to this exact same Rob. Or not Rob. He's not Rob anymore. Silly me. Mm -hmm. I mean, same principle still alive with there with uh, the player, less than the uh, character, you know? Because, like, Wadi is a character that, or a player that, like, you might feel safer holding shield against. But the thing is, that might be true with his Rob, with his Mewtwo, he has a Shadow Ball to whittle down your shield and force you to act eventually. And that's when he also he just plays has that best. command grab, so you really have to be careful with your shielding habits against Mewtwo. Yeah. Really have to be aware of all of them. Like, all of the options against him. Just a strong character and strong player of Wadi. Ooh. And while that force match almost calling him out, and Pink versus DI was really good off that down throw. Managed to debate Wadi into a position where he feels like he could uh, punch or something. But, like, bait or not, you just have to finish your play. And Pink still isn't in a position to do that just yet. For a second, I thought those bullets hit him. It was close, yeah. No punish on the re grab there. No punish on the third re grab either. Loki, I feel like that's a new meta. You see that a lot more with the top players. They're re-grabbing the ledge more and more because it's a mix-up. And, like, you have to commit hard to get a, like, big punish off a ledge re-grab. Yeah, he characters. recognized where Pink Crush was, and he was not in down smash range. And that's really the best option he had for punishing the re-grab. And but it didn't matter. Yeah, that was a great punish coming from Wadi. As the, or as the game goes on, we see more and more players getting comfortable with punishing that side B. The hitbox is so big, but if you... Um, hit Bayonetta near the end of it, which is still moving forward, but the hitbox is gone. You can get something big off that, and that's right. what Wadi did right there. Slowly but surely, the world is learning the, the Bayonetta matchup. Yeah. It's so cool to see, like, the trickle-down effect of all these characters, like, that people were complaining about, and, like, people were, like, essentially breaking in terms of the meta. Like when Cloud first came out. Yeah, like when Cloud first came out. Well, in doubles, he's still busted, but... I mean... Yeah. Doubles is an entirely different game. Like, But, like, people are learning things to exploit him, like how to take advantage of untackable situations off his up B, how to edge guard him better. And now, like, Cloud is still a very strong character, but it is harder for these Cloud names out here. You can't just pocket him and win for free. He's one of those easy-to-pick-up, hard-to-master characters. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because Cloud's not on the screen. Instead, we have the potential best character in the game, Bayonetta. Some may say. Some will argue Mewtwo Depends being the best you. also. Yeah. Some people would say that, yeah. Nice, Pink Fresh getting off a bit with a down tilt, 39%. And I love Pink Fresh's back airs. 
He, I feel like his back airs or his aerials in general might be the best of any Bayonetta. Other Bayonettas like have the combo game that like honestly is probably better than his, but his aerials are probably He's really good at landing those meaty aerials. What does that mean? Like in context of Smash. Like, oh, that disables clean though. That's like just clean. that the more hard hitting ones, you know, he's not going for like Oh, this game he is, but he doesn't typically go for like fair follow-ups or anything like that. He goes for those hard-hitting back airs just to push him off, get as much damage as he can off. Mm. Yeah, I'll definitely agree with that. Now Wadi turning it up way more. Oh my god, you know it's real when the man will run up and disable you. But Pink Fresh, he's not going to let that happen for free. Gets a little bit of a combo off, but Wadi's sock is still on the board. I mean, he's just scaring Wadi every time he jumps with his back face to him now. He's just been hitting him so hard with those back airs. Really making him question how he wants to recover. I mean, he's doing a good job so far, but this follow-up should do it. Yes, sir. It's, uh, red hot kicks, afterburner kick, and that's going to take that stop. I know it's not the red hot kick, but... Shouts to, shouts to beautiful jump. It's a good game. <gasps> oh, no! That was so smart, but he's had a second jump. Yeah, that was a two-frame it seems. I think he got a second jump back. Wadi, so smart to at least try it first. But now we're going back into it. Pink Fresh tries to read his air dodge. I really want now. people to notice the turnaround he did there on that up. Key. That was cute, yeah. You gotta do that. Like he got Get the fair one facing the ledge and then immediately B reversed the up B so he could keep the combo going, potentially to get him off the side uh, to the left. Mm. Just shows how strong of a player Pink Fresh really is. Yeah. And that interaction also showed how strong Wadi was. He just audaciously charged a Shadow Ball in Pink Fresh's face. And Pink Fresh couldn't do anything about it. No fear. But now this is something. This is something. The Rage almost blows Wadi off the top. But now the back air is going to be whittling down Wadi's shield. Pink Fresh committing big with all of these forward airs. Wadi has to be feeling the pressure right now. He's 69% on him. Pushing Wadi off stage, looking for those back airs. But Wadi is able to regain stage control. Ooh, the whist time. He's in range. What's the fault? The oh. smash. That's going to be it. Pink Fresh, so close, but he turns it up and turns it all the way and back we are to bring us to game five. To game five, oh ladies and gentlemen, God. both these men have woken up. Yeah, and we are looking at a very intense uh, set here. Survival. Yeah, it might be ten thirty at night, but these guys, you know, they might have taken some caffeine, make dr like drink some coffee, soil. These guys are awake tonight, and they are ready to go into this game number five. Same stage, same characters. Let's go, Wadi and Pink Fresh. If you had to pick one to win it, who would it be? I don't know, man. It's hard these days. Pink Fresh is playing at a level that I haven't seen him play since probably Katar Saga. Like, recently he's just been, um, it looks like he's been grinding a bit more, and his follow-ups have been just evolving. And I'm loving what I'm seeing from him. His you neutral's know, always there, but the follow-ups get better. Lately, as far as top-level Bayonetta's go, Pink Fresh has been kind of falling under the radar. You know, Salem, Captain Zack, all of them have sort of been catching up to him. And I feel like, like Pink Fresh is quite frankly tired of it. Yeah, I feel like to a point they both surpassed them in a way. Like the placings at a lot of the events they've attended, one of them has outplaced them almost every time. But Pink Fresh is just like, you know what? I'm still VGBC Pink Fresh, one of the best like, Bayonetta. I am still the first premier Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what that means. And he is turning it up right now, has a very nice lead over Wadi right now. Yeah, but Wadi, we all know what he can do with a bit of rage on this character. It's crazy. This game is about 10% away on Bayonetta from being even. Honestly, yeah, but... But it doesn't matter because all that rage is now gone. And there's the 10% he was looking for. Oh, no. Pineapples. Oh, no. Oh, no. But he saved him. Oh, Pine no. Up. He didn't save him. He just foot sold. He was mashing jump. He was trying to do anything he could to live. <laughs> 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 Why? Well, he said, I got you. Oh, no. Not like that.